Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to make a air print in our uh, Spitar Swift project. Also, you need to know always there's a link to project source code in comments. Yeah, and before we start our new project, I will show you how will be output. Uh, you know, it it will be something like this. Uh, you know, you will have one text and one button, and uh, when you click on button, you can trigger uh, print. So uh, you know, this is uh, made, you know ready user interface made uh, by iOS. So you can select printer and uh, how many copy you want, and then. Uh, send uh, you know uh, select uh, your printer and then uh, send your print uh, you know you need to, uh, you know uh, actually I need to uh, if you want to do it uh, you you need to uh, just looking for a printer there's no printer yet uh, so uh, it's not working but if there is a one air print you can send it over there so it's uh, really cool uh, tools it can be useful for your app and uh, if also there in simulators you can uh, we have air print uh, simulators so you can use them as well if you like okay so uh, we done this part uh, let's start our project so file new project as usual so uh, we name our it's gonna be single view app and we name it iOS Swift Air print 01 for example and uh, yes as soon as we uh, have it ready we will go to main storyboard so create and if you notice I check marked uh, github respiratory uh, to be able to uh, commit and push it to github for you folks and put link in comments okay so uh, yes let's go to main storyboard and in main storyboard I will put uh, some uh, text field text area actually or text view here and uh, also I need a button so this button will be print So, you know, uh, we can change size of this, you know, with uh, this interface or you can come here in size inspector and uh, say, okay, how wide you want to be, for example, I made it 300 and how high yeah, I make it, for example, Four hundred, and uh, yes, uh, I'll uh, you know I check uh, I make it uh, to be fixed size it is uh, with add two constraint for wide and height, and also for button. Yes, I make wide for example. 60 and high 40 yeah make let me make it this 100 okay then I'll go to attributes and here I just say yes give it a background to be more visible and also we can make this print and the font a little bit bigger something like 20 
or 19 okay so also for button I'm gonna make it to be fixed height and height and then also I make this align to be horizontally in the middle okay for my text I make it align to be horizontally center in both hor uh, uh, sorry horizontal and vertical be you know center and then for button I control drag to this and vertical spacing same as it is now but uh, I don't want to be same as it is now I just want it to be something uh, you know it should be minus yes so I don't want to be minus so I make it something about for example 5 so let's push it down not inside this uh, text view okay so we are uh, now set for our user interface so we will go to view controller in our view controller we don't need this view uh, did we uh, receive memory warning for now and so here we uh, can add one IB outlet weak variable for what for our text view so I name it text view from type of UI text view an exclamation mark okay so view did load we do nothing in there at this time but what else uh, we gonna do uh, we will make an IB action so IB sorry at sign IB action so this one will be one function by the name of I can name it print text so underline sender as I always say this underline just is for this purpose that we don't have to mention sender you know when we call this come uh, you know uh, this function so inside this I say let print controller so what I do now I make a controller for print so and uh, I use ready controllers so, so if, uh, by the name of UI <coughs> excuse me so by the name of UI printer interface Uh, I believe it should be UI print not ER doesn't have ER UI print interface okay UI print inter ah, sorry uh, UI print interaction controller yes so UI print interaction controller and uh, we say dot shared so we make a controller from ready controller that we have uh, from uh, Apple and then we will create print info so this print info will be UI print info yes and uh, by dictionary nil so no dictionary for that and 
yes and also we now start to maneuver over uh, print info so we call print info and then add attribute output type should be UI print info output type UI print info output type and dot general and for again for print info uh, we say job name equal print job and uh, for print controller so for print controller uh, now we can uh, you know this uh, you know dot print info equal print info okay so uh, here we made our, our print info and we assign it to our print controller so now we say okay let formatter double t yeah formatter equal ui markup text print formatter and uh, so by this signature mark up text of a string and a string will be what our text view dot text so we will get a text uh, from uh, our uh, text view and give it to uh, UI mark up text print formatter and then for our formatter we just say pre actually pair pair page content in sets should be equal U I edge insets and this one will be top left button and right so I said top 72 left 72 button 72 and right 72 and then in next line uh, we will say print controller dot print formatter that we made just on top should be equal with formatter And at the end, we will say, OK, print controller dot presents. So present what? Animation, yes, true. And and completion handler uh, will be nil okay so uh, now we just only need to go back to main story we need to connect it uh, we have uh, two option uh, we can uh, call assistant editor but uh, in uh, you know we will go here again again for connection inspector and we select our uh, actually view controller in connection inspector and now we have our text view we can just drag from text view to here 
to connect it to text view and then for print text action we can connect that one to here and we say for touchdown or whatever event you prefer and uh, yes we done with connection uh, also uh, for calling this uh, you have uh, you can just right click on this right uh, yellow button or just control uh, click there okay and uh, let's uh, run app and then uh, until it's uh, running uh, we just reviewing what we did and we will talk about the code so uh, first of all we made two uh, action two connection one for IB outlet to connect with our text view to be able to get the text from that text view and also uh, we uh, made this one and uh, we made IB action to connect in, you know to be to make a function to be able to connect to our button and trigger when our uh, uh, you know button being uh, tapped or any event happening on it uh, actually we said uh, we choose uh, you know uh, top down and uh, then we uh, start to making so first of all we make the U UI uh, actually printer controller by UI interface controller uh, in uh, by the you know share attribute and then we made our print info and we add that print info to print info and we said it's going to be a call our print info and then we make our formatter uh, to where to show that uh, print area and uh, then we said okay now present it so now you will see when we tap on that button then we will have our uh, actually ui printer interface controller this is made by uh, ios uh, and we can use it so you can uh, add copy here this is 72 uh, space from everywhere and uh, the first you need to select a printer you need to find a air printer around and then when you choose it you can print it so yeah that's all for today i hope you like this uh, video if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question you can ask in comment i wish the best for you thank you for watching us and uh, have a good one bye bye